Hey, howdy. I had to write down some profundity. Here it comes from your wiser advisor, the left. The left wing, the pinkles, the Marxists, you know, the left. They have evolved into an intolerant, inflexible, illogical, hateful, misguided, ill-informed, hypocritical, menace, narrow-minded, dishonest, and insufferable people. I'll tell you later how I really feel about them. Hey, just saying. The bureaucrats, bureaucrats <laughs> in uh, Sacramento. You know, they are so messed up when it comes to most things, but particularly the Second Amendment and firearms, boom, de boom, de boom, boom. They try everything to, to stop people from having guns. You can't have the right because God didn't give you the right. You don't have the right. We give you the right and we can take it away. They are so wrong and misguided. They kind of fit into that category of what I've already said. So, so now they're coming at it with guns. They're saying, we want to tax your guns individually and register them individually. So if you have 10 guns, you've got to fill out 10 sets of paper work, probably that thick, and pay taxes on each and every firearm. It's not right. It's, uh, it's left. But it isn't right. It's really, really wrong. This is a brand new level of being vindictive and, well, just stupid. And dumb, of course, is forever. Wow. Uh, what about the, you know, the Second Amendment? What, what about the Constitution? I mean, these guys, they step over the line all the time. And then you have organizations like the CRPA, California Rifle and Pistol Association, who are constantly fighting this. It takes money, you know, to do that. So go to the website, crpa.org, and give them money because all they do is hire lawyers. They have to, to protect everybody. In California, but it also is kind of precedent, you know, semi-precedent setting too, I suppose, in that, you know, you need to have things done right. Now, gun control, it works really well. Edmonton, Alberta, gun control, hey, shootings are up 75% over last year. And Chicago and Toronto and pick a city. It's all the same. Gun control doesn't matter. It's all about people control, controlling the people who have guns. It's one of the greatest mysteries of all time <laughs> in that let's take the guns away from someone who didn't do the crime. Unbelievable. Hard to understand. Now, speaking of guns, boom de boom over in uh, Afghanistan. Blah, blah. <laughs> uh, a couple of years ago, it was in August of 2021, the uh, Defense Minister of Canada, his name I can't pronounce, Harriet Sajjan or something, he said, uh, you know, firstly, he's from India. So I've often said, if you have a war with India, what now? <laughs> so, you know, to go into the cabinet of the prime mistake in Canada, it's like you think you're in the United Nations. I mean, everybody's from somewhere else. They all have dual passports and there's no loyalty. They're all a bunch of bigamists. And here's a good example. So when they're trying to get everybody out of, you know, Afghanistan because of what happened, the Taliban took over and they, in the middle of them taking over, they were evacuating people. So what does this guy do? The minister, he selects 200 and some odd, 225 Afghan people to get them out first. They're number one. Hmm. Do you think there's anything wrong with that? And then he said, Second on the list, <laughs> second on the list is feminists, human rights activists, minorities, and homosexuals. Then, after number two, we have number three, which is the regulars, soldiers, and and Canadians. You know, wow, the prime mistake of Canada. He's been in charge of Canada for nine years. Look at what he's done. <clears throat> There's an election coming up. It's another year. I mean. I'd elect a vote for a Shetland pony, anything, just because to stop the damage. But there is a Conservative Party with a leader who seems like he's going to be okay. So we're looking forward to that happening in Canada. Still talking about Canada. They're, they, um, I'm, I'm not a monarchist particularly. I, I think it's good to have kings and queens and all that stuff if you want, if you live in England. But Canada has it because they're a Commonwealth country. And it's interesting because not only do they have it, they don't know what to do with it. And they have a governor general. And the governor general is the person who organizes things and speaks on behalf of the king. And, you know, they've been around a long time. But in addition to that position, every province also has a governor general. So talk about duplication, right? I mean, there's a, almost a dozen of them, I think, in Canada. But the main one, the federal one, she gets $362,800 a year. Last year, she racked up $3 million worth of travel. $3 million. I travel all the time. I'm in airplanes two or three times a week. My employees are flying all over the country all of the time. $3 million. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a 10 or maybe a $20,000 month. I mean, this is outrageous. You know, get this though. After she retires, she makes $200,000 a year 
or gets $200,000 a year rather for expenses. In addition to that, she gets $130,000 a year. All governor generals do, but I'm talking about her, the one in power now. She gets $130,000 a year for a clothing allowance. And then she gets a $150,000 a year pension. Wow, what's up with that? And, and what do they do? All these people in provinces and the feds, what do they do? They say, the king is great. I mean, they don't talk about it in schools anymore. All they talk about in schools is homosexuals and, and Indians and you're an unseated lad. Wow, the left wing wackos. Something else that I wrote down, got to share with you. It's so profound. Start with profound, end with profound. Hope, hope is the belief that good things lay ahead. Hope is a mix of desire and expectation. It is confidence that something wonderful is possible. Hopelessness impacts a desire for good things and expectations turn negative. Uh, many have lost hope in our society and in our politics, but I'm hopeful. Hopeful is believing that the future can be better than the past, and so don't lose hope. And I hope that the Pinkles and all these left-wing commies move to Siberia, and we'll have a happy life and live happily ever after. Hey. Y'all come back.